Okay, so... I have a plan. In my recent videos, you will have seen me going through all of my extensive book collection, shall we say. I organise all of my books into two piles, books that I have read and books that I haven't read. Then I separated the unread books pile into three more piles, and they were books that I am donating to charity because I'm just not going to read them, so I unhauled those books. Books that I do want to keep, but I'm not in a massive rush to read them, and then books that I am in a massive rush to read and I'm going to be prioritising. And those are right here. So basically what I'm going to be doing today is using this trusty book trolley. I'm going to be using the trolley to help rank them in order of priority so that I know which books I want to read first and which ones I want to get to as soon as possible. It will make more sense as the video goes on, but these are the books. We've got quite a few to get through. And so without further ado, let's get started. First book is Fake Accounts by Lauren Euler. This is a book I have been excited to read and I do want to get around to it, but it's going to be on the third tier. Um, hopefully they'll start standing up at some point and they won't just topple, um, but for now I think there's going to be going to be a fair bit of toppling. Because it's not a top, top priority, but it's not, it's not lowest either, so we'll see. I guess things will be shuffled around as we continue. Shirley Jackson, We Have Always Lived in the Castle, is actually really similar. I feel very much the same way about both of those books. I want to read them at some point. Concerning My Daughter is the next book. Um, that's gonna go on this shelf, I think, but like this side of this shelf. Um, oh, right, Breasts and Eggs. This is a book that I've been meaning to get around to for so long, and it has just remained on my unread pile, and so this is going onto the top shelf for sure. That's, that's a priority, definitely. Next book is The Age of Doubt. Um, I was sent this in the post, so I don't actually know much about it, to be honest with you. I think it might be. Is it a short story collection? Oh, interesting. Yes, it is. Okay, so I think that's gonna go here with Concerning My Daughter, but now this is the interesting bit because I think it's gonna go this side of Concerning My Daughter. You see how it works now? Because this is gonna help me decide relative to each other which books I want to read, so... Upstairs for thinking, downstairs for dancing, you know what I'm saying? Next book is Lucky Breaks, which I actually have read 64 pages of, so I think I'm gonna put it up here because I would like to finish that at some point. I was enjoying it, but it just wasn't the right vibe at the time. Peter Brook, The Empty Space. I don't know much about this, so it's going here. The Sympathizer is another book I've been meaning to get around to for ages and ages and ages. You're going on that shelf. Memorial by Brian Washington is one that I keep saying, much like Breast and Eggs, I'm gonna read this, I'm gonna read this, I'm gonna read this. It's going, it's going near top priority, that one. Okay, Crossroads by Jonathan Franzen. This is another book that I was sent, but I've heard really good things about. I've seen lots of TikToks actually about this book saying it was phenomenal. So the problem is it's very long and I do have big book fear. This might just slip in right there. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm okay with that. Detransition Baby is going into the same category as Breasts and Eggs and Memorial. In fact, I think I bought all of these books at the same time, and I still haven't read any of them, so this is also going up here. Ooh, okay. Hmm, yeah, like this. Also, when I have a book in hardback, I feel like an idiot when I don't read it before the paperback comes out, because it's just a waste, isn't it? But the damage is done. Carmilla, this is the cult classic that inspired Dracula. This is a priority, but I don't think it's like top, 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 so it's gonna go there on the second shelf. Okay. The Discomfort of Evening is not a priority really, but hopefully I'll read it at some point. You Will Not Have My Hate is actually a book that I've had for ages and have meant to read for a long time, so it's actually gonna go up here, because um, it's quite a short book too, so yeah. Eve Babbitt's Slow Days, Fast Company is also heading to that top tier. I really want to read that very, very soon. Um, and I'm also drawn to it, you know? Oh, Verity by Colin Hoover, I actually just finished reading, so that doesn't need to be in that pile. Book Lovers is the book I am currently reading, and I'm struggling so much to get into it. Mm, I'm really not enjoying it. Um, however, I'm 195 pages in out of 370, so... I've kind of committed now. I guess I could put it at number one, but since I'm already reading it, I guess I'll just leave it off the pile and put it next to my bed instead. Happy Hour by Marlo Granados. Now, I 
have been recommended this book by everyone. Everyone has been telling me I have to read this. And I went into Dawn Books and the bookseller in Dawn Books was like, oh my god, this is such a great read. So that's going right there. Dominicana by Angie Cruz is a book that I've had for a while and I've meant to read for a while, but I think it's gonna be third shelf. Uh-oh. See, it's all fun and games until these topple onto my head. But you know what? We'll make it work. The Love Hypothesis I am reading for a video, um, so I suppose that's gonna go onto the top shelf. Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover is a book that... I just have FOMO, like, I'm not even that excited to read it, but I just have FOMO. I just see everyone talking about it and I want to be involved. I want to know <laughs> what they're talking about, so it's going in there. Um, I'll get around to it eventually, but I just, I want to be part of the conversation. Pizza Girl is a book that I really, really want to read. Um, cool cover as well, I like that a lot. Um, it's going on the top shelf. I think it's gonna go in here. Conversations in Love. Um, it's gonna be placed very similarly. This whole video is just gonna be all the books falling. Take a shot every time one of the books falls over and you'll be hammered by the end of this video. This is like a collection of different people's observations on love and it's going in here. Not gonna lie, the top shelf is already pretty full. Next we have The Architecture of Happiness, which is gonna go in here. I'm reading that for my second Harry Styles video. Ooh, Insatiable by Daisy Buchanan. That's also, hmm, I wanna read that more than The Architecture of Happiness. So, that's how it goes. That's how the cookie crumbles. Um, Wild Woman, I bought this in uh, Croatia and I did start reading it and I was enjoying it, but then I just kind of moved on to other things. So let's put her back up near the top. A Certain Hunger, I think, is gonna be a book about cannibalism. <laughs> so I feel like this is something that I need to be like very much in the mood <laughs> to read. I need to be in the mood to read something like shocking. So let's put it here, right next to Carmilla. A girl is a half-formed thing is going to be a similar point of kind of prioritization. It's in here. Not gonna lie, these top two shelves are getting a little bit congested. Things are gonna start dropping down in a minute. Acts of Service is also a second shelf situation, I think. Is it? Everyone is really excited about this book. You know what? Maybe it's gonna go in here. You've charmed me. Fine. Now, this is a top, top priority. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. And I wanna read this today and today and today. I've somehow damaged the cover, which is really, really annoying, but I really want to read this. In fact, I think it's gonna be taking the number one spot, because I've just heard so many good things. The Disaster Tourist is another book that I have read half of. I got to page 49 and then stopped, so a gap is open there, I'll put it in. Maybe I'll do like a weekend where I finish some books that I have already started. Lucky Jim is going to start populating that third shelf. Same with The Fortune Men. This is another book that I started, but I really was not enjoying it. I just couldn't get into it at all. So that's going to go here. Wise Blood by Flannery O'Connor on the third shelf. Same with Under the Net by Iris Murdoch. These are kind of classics that I would like to get around to at some point, but um, they're like modern classics, but they're not really a top, top priority. They're not going anywhere, you know. Desperate Characters by Paula Fox. That's going on that shelf, but I think it's gonna go in first place on the shelf. When You Call My Name by Tucker Shaw. Hmm. I think that's gonna go in here. Their Eyes Were Watching God. I would really like to get around to this one. Hmm. Let's put that just here. Yeah. Yoke by Mary H.K. Choi. Um, have owned this over a year now and still not got around to it. So I think that might slip in just here. Department of Speculation by Jenny Offill. This is a short book, but I think it's a bit of a Head fuck. Maybe that would be good for me. Yeah, I'm gonna put that... Hmm... I'm gonna put that in here. Yeah. One of the Boys is a book that I picked up in a charity shop. Kind of on a whim. But it's very short and I still haven't read it. I think I'm gonna squeeze that in here. Vagabonds is a book I know that I really need to dedicate some time to because it's very similar thematically to some books that I'd like to eventually write a thesis on. So I think that this actually could end up maybe being part of that. 
So I know that I want to kind of sit down and rethink about it from an academic perspective. So it's not a top priority because when I sit down to read this, I want to really, really focus. Um, so I'm gonna pop that in there. And that's pretty much the second shelf. I think there's room for one more book in there. We have Severance by Ling Ma. I think this is about a fictional pandemic, which I think would have been interesting to read during the pandemic, but now that we're in this sort of lull just afterwards, it's not really a top priority for me. Um, I don't really want to think about that <laughs> for the foreseeable, if I don't have to. Um, we then have Brick Lane by Monica Alley. That's going to go here. If we were villains! Oh! Now that's gonna shake things up because I do really want to get around to this. So maybe that's gonna go in here. Is there room though? <laughs> I'm sure you're on the edge of your seat. Yes, I have the perfect space for it right there. Okay, next we have Man's Search for Meaning. This is another one of the books that I'm reading for my Harry Styles videos. So it's gonna go in there. So I quite like to make that video quite soon because it's got lots of movies coming out. That man never goes out of style, but he is like kind of at the height of pop culture right now. So um, gotta try and catch that. We then have this book called Violets. That's gonna go in there on the third shelf. Build Your House Around My Body is a great title. This was nominated for the Women's Prize, but I don't know that much about it. So I think that might also just take a little slot in there. Beach Read by Emily Henry. I'm really not enjoying Book Lovers by Emily Henry. So this has really been dropped to low, low priority. And oh yeah, the view is exhausting. This is meant to be quite similar to The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, so you know what? This might go up there. It's like an end of summer read. And now, so much room for activity down here, because all the books are gone, but the final book that I have is My Dark Vanessa. Hmm. This is a book that I have started reading and would really love to finish very soon, so that's heading to the top priorities. Okay. Here we go. These are the finished rankings. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow, happy hour, slow days fast company, you will not have my hate, my dark Vanessa, the disaster tourist, the view is exhausting, wild woman, memorial, conversations on love, pizza girl, detransition baby, breasts and eggs, lucky breaks, love hypothesis, acts of service, and man's search for meaning. Then we have their eyes were watching God, insatiable, the architecture of happiness, department of speculation, yoke, a girl is a half formed thing, a certain hunger, Carmilla, the age of doubt, concerning my daughter, if we were villains, one of the boys, the sympathizer, crossroads, ugly love, and vagabonds. And then rounding us off, Build Your House Around My Body, Violets, Desperate Characters, Dominicana, Fake Accounts, We Have Always Lived in the Castle, The Empty Space, Lucky Jim, Wise Blood, Under the Net, When You Call My Name, Severance, The Fortune Men, The Discomfort of Evening, Brick Lane, and Beach Read. Da -da -da -da. There we go, that is the list. So thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, you can give it a thumbs up, you can subscribe to this channel for more, and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye!